know what this is. I like to go to flea markets around here. Sometimes you can get really good deals on games because people really don't know what they're worth. Sometimes you get a guy who barely speaks English who says you can buy this thing for $15 and it comes with all of this stuff. How can I say no to that? After a little bit of research, I learned it's from the company Intech, those guys who make a crap ton of different accessories for the real consoles. That's all I got though. This console isn't advertised at all on their entire website. I know it came out sometime after the Nintendo Wii, because this is a Wii ripoff console. The console itself is barely bigger than a Super Nintendo cartridge and weighs like a pound. It only has outputs for video and one audio channel. Its audio is mono. One channel. Like the NES. From 1985. The game cartridges are tiny, and so is the controller. This thing is clearly designed for baby hands. It has two A buttons, two B buttons, select, start, and a reset button. Oh, that's handy. Of course, it also came with two Wiimote ripoff controllers, only these are called Genie Cons. It has the same buttons, only it feels so flimsy that I'm pretty sure I could shatter it from mental thought alone. Get this, when you start using the controller, it begins flashing colors non-stop. And for whatever reason, this console may be the only one in existence that has blinking LED lights on the side. I'd hate to say it, but I feel like I should be in a rave. I got the Interact with this cartridge, which has eight games in one. Eight different ways to see how bad this thing could be. Eight! Yeah! They're all sports games, of course. My favorite part so far is this seven second loop they're trying to pass off as music. And by the way, you'll notice that every single game on here uses an Apple loop from GarageBand as music. All right, place kick soccer, or football, if you will. It's pretty easy. You hit A for the direction, then you press it again for power. Then hope for the best. If you score, the goalie is so happy for you that he starts rocking out. And when he blocks, he gets so happy he jerks off two imaginary dicks. I like hitting the ball with as little power as possible. By the way, I'm actually playing the game with the wrong controller. You're actually supposed to play it with this thing, the soccer transmitter. You actually take this and you strap it to your leg and then you kick to play. Here's the thing though, all it functions as is another way to press A. Your kick strength or whatever doesn't actually matter, it just presses A for you. It's one thing to have bad motion controls, but it's another thing to have fake motion controls. This is stupid! Hey bowling, that's always good. Well, I have to pick Wallace Breen from Half-Life 2 here. Seriously, that is him. They stole this. Yourself? Holy crap! Look how huge this lane is! That's like 20 feet wide! There really isn't much to say about bowling, other than watching Wally here get happy or sad when I get strikes and stuff. Yay! Tennis. You know what's a great way to make tennis fun? Make it one player! Alright, I'll play against slightly taller version of this woman. Wait, what is actually happening here? What does this mean? Why is there such a huge delay between her serving it and the ball actually reaching here? Oh, Jesus, quick, hit every button! This actually shows you how to play. Just mash the A button or swing the genie con rapidly, and the ball cannot get past you. It's a matter of time before the computer screws up. It sucks. What else is on here? Fishing. Okay, it's lame. Ping pong. It's the same as tennis. Moving on. Golf. You know, I'll give it this. It's actually pretty well animated. Very smooth. At least compared to the other games. Some of their button choices are weird, like having to press start to begin your swing. Or when it says, press any key to next, what they actually meant was, only the select button works. The game's pretty easy, since the ball always goes directly to the hole with no variation. You can select different clubs, too. Overall, it's not awful. It's super simplistic, especially since nearly every hole in the game is the same, but hey, it works. World Series, a baseball game. You swing the genie con or press A when the ball is nearby. This meter shows the direction it'll go, but I haven't found a difference between them. Everything plays out in these weird little cutscenes. Riveting. Oh, alright, well I guess my side is retired. Wait, what? What is 
is happening here? I get that it's simulating the other team batting, but why do I look like this when their team looks like this, but the title screen looks like this? Ugh, I'm just gonna get a home run so I can move on and- ah! Dear God, this crowd, they're all terrifying. Okay, last game on here. TV boxing. All right, I'm down. Okay, okay, okay. This may be the first game in existence to have an age meter. All those other stats don't mean nothing compared to their age. Show your power. Excuse me? Show your power. Show your power. Well, I'm gonna fight this girl because she already looks like she's having a good time. I, what is this? Ow! Ow! Oh god! What is happening? I'm just mashing buttons and sometimes their life goes down. What was that a kick? This is kickboxing? What does the star meter mean? I can't control where I hit. Sometimes punches will land, but there's no sound or anything, so it feels empty. I like it when she falls over because she looks like a giant collapsing onto the streets. Also, is it just me, or do her legs go up way past where her vagina should be? Don't you taunt me. Uh, so obviously it's not very good. But a sick part of me wishes that I had more games to play on it. Like, at least four times as many games to play on it. BAM! 32 games in one! And I'm gonna play them all. It has a lot of pretty basic games on here not worth talking about. Like a clone of the game Snake, Square, which is just Tetris, Diamond, which is a breakout clone, Archery, which is just boring, and Shudu, which is Sudoku. You know, for the kids. I want to play Fireman! You don't see a lot of Fireman games and... I... Uh, what? Is this some kind of weird breakout clone? But with Fireman. You launch your own Fireman to rescue trapped people and he puts out fires with his face. You're a Fireman though, so make sure you pilfer some cash while you're saving lives. Also their trumpets. Lawn Purge. Mowing the Lawn, the game. My favorite. I'm really glad there's no music, otherwise I wouldn't be able to hear this sweet lawnmower noise. So I never really mentioned it before, but the controller sucks. The D-pad is like the 360s, but less responsive. I swear to god, there are times I press left only to go up or right. And that really messes me up when trying to mow the lawn. You only have so much fuel and hitting anything that isn't grass takes away a bunch of it. It also makes your dude say this. Oh no! This is way harder than it looks. It took me three tries to get past the first stage. I'm more impressed that they actually have more than one stage. Oh no! What? 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 I'm sorry? I wasn't anywhere on the flower! The game is straight up cheating now! This is bullshit! Hey, Zuma! This is that ball launching puzzle game you see being played on those screens at every bar and Buffalo Wild Wings in America. It's certainly Zuma, but with the added challenge of having a really bad controller and not being able to aim properly. Boxes World. You push around boxes into certain areas. It's a decent puzzle game, by no means original, but again, it isn't enjoyable because of the poor controller messing up your moves, not to mention the grating music and sound effects. What else is on here? Oh, okay. Fighting. I can do that. Be fighting? Oh god, here it comes! Oh, 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 it's a Galaga clone. It's still a decently fun game, even in this unpolished form. The only thing that sucks is that they don't have that cool ship capture system like in the real Galaga. I've been tricked, you jerks. Tank! Doesn't get much more simple than that. And holy balls, this game is hard. You have to defend this point, but it's really hard to get to the other side to defend it from. Again, controller. This is actually the most complete game I've played so far. It has more than one stage, a result screen, hell, it even has power-ups. I guess it isn't completely awful. The only bizarre thing that I noticed is that when you shoot a tank that takes more than one hit, it plays an out-of-place guitar twang. Yeah, okay. What is this shoot game? Oh, it's actually shooting balls in balloons. Shooting balloons. I knew that. God damn it, it's Buster Brothers! They straight up stole this from Super Buster Brothers! I actually really like that game. Here it's lame though. They're just balloons, they don't pose a threat. Careful though, because even though they're balloons, sometimes they take two bullets to pop. Pro crack. 
It's Buster Brothers again! Ah! Fish war. You know what? I think this is alright. You play as a small piranha eating smaller fish until you get bigger. Then you can eat even bigger fish. It's like a new version of Odell Lake. The things you need to look out for are the smiling shark who eats everything and this little crab bastard. They'll kill you. I thoroughly appreciate this game's excellent use of comic book style onomatopoeia when eating things. It's hard not to enjoy the eating sounds of chum. Let's go to the other 16 games in one. This kid here sure is having a good time for being about to be blown up by a missile. And for missing an eye, this half has a bunch of games that aren't really noteworthy either. Aquamix, which is a Puyo Pop clone. <laughs> Dual Soccer, a foosball game. Maze Pack, which is Tetris, but with bombs and single pieces. And Pets Crossing, which is Frogger, but with a green squeaky bunny. Hammer. This reminds me of arcade games in the 80s. You smash down creatures so that they fall, and they'll rebuild broken platforms. I'm sure this idea was stolen from something, but I couldn't tell you what. It really didn't hold my attention. Rugged Hammer, a sequel, I assume? Nope, this is a completely different game. It's a puzzle game that reminds me of Wrecking Crew, but I have no idea what I'm supposed to accomplish here. Am I supposed to break everything? Lining three up gets me points. Am I supposed to escape out the top? I can jump, but I can't go up at all. I don't know what I'm doing. Harry. Holy crap, is this going to be a double dragon game? Whoa, I was way off. What is going on here? Why is there a witch? You throw blocks into the right side and they disappear when they match up. But you can only grab blocks from the right. Otherwise, you get stuck, crushed, and die. This isn't very good. I wouldn't really... Cake! There's a cake, let me get it. What? I can't climb that high? Why would they put a cake somewhere where I can't go? Loop Legend. Sure game, I'll go ahead and select my sense. It's yet another puzzle game, only here you drop balls down and have complete control the whole time. There's no urgency here, just drop balls at your leisure. The looping music is especially irritating on this game. Fancy, another puzzle game. You push some blocks around and sometimes they disappear. There's not much to say about it, other than this cat thing you play as is actually pretty cute. If it was a stuffed animal, I would buy it. Farm Keeper Monkey! Farms don't have monkeys! Use the monkey to bounce peaches from one side to the other side. This is it. This is the entire game. Smart Bomber. Yeah, you guys are being real subtle with this one. I make a Bomberman clone if you can't even get cool power-ups. There's no point in killing enemies when they respawn instantly. And there's no point in hiding from explosions when they kill you anyway. Tiger Man. Well, this sounds baller as hell. Oh, yep, Tiger Man, the time-honored story of a single soldier fighting off swarms of helicopters with just his gun. Which, according to the title screen, is a 22 gauge rifle at best, but here it's a machine gun. The only sounds this game has are helicopter blades and explosions. And these helicopters are tiny, and it's not a perspective thing like they're supposed to be high up in the air. They're clearly in front of this two-story building, hovering maybe 15 feet above Tiger Man here. But can we talk about how cool Tiger Man is? He's shooting down waves of helicopters by himself. He's so badass that when he dies, he keeps shooting. And he doesn't just shoot his gun, he pleasures it. Golden Gate. Hey Lilo, where's Stitch? This is basically a take on Pong, only you have to destroy all of your opponent's Ankh coins and then get the ball past them. And as it turns out, the AI cannot stop my impenetrable defense of standing there. Apex Gun. This is a good old shoot 'em up game. And you know what? It's not terrible. It plays okay. Not good, but okay. This might be my favorite game on here. It has everything. Planes, shooting, explosions, power-ups, fucking power downs. The only thing that stops this game from being better is, once again, the controller. This goes for every game the Interact system has. The controller cannot sense any diagonal direction. That makes playing a shoot 'em up like this hard when you have limited maneuverability. It's hard to get far in the game. Which sucks, because I sure do enjoy level 3's all brick background. This game is called... Uh, well, it's not called anything. It doesn't have a title. So I'm gonna make my own. Let's see, uh, how about... Pixie Princess Dandelion. Of the death knell! So you play as Pixie Princess Dandelion and you... Uh, squeegee a picture clean? 
and you run from a ghost. I guess he's the death knell. So this is it. Clean the whole picture and avoid the ghost. It's not hard at all, but I can't beat it because this game cheats. Look, I did it. Whole picture clean. Life still remaining. Game over. <laughs> what? This happened every time. Okay, I've been putting them off because I don't like racing games very much, but I gotta play them. Overspeed. This is the most obnoxious engine sound I've ever heard. It's a good thing I have both a first person and a third person view. At least hitting a car's trunk somehow sets it on fire. Uh, what? Holy crap, how is that car still driving? It's just wheels on fire now. Are you serious? Destroying cars makes you lose a thousand points? So what's the one fun thing I can do here that makes me lose points? I'm sorry, did I say lose points? Because I meant to say it doesn't do anything at all. And you're supposed to hit the giant fuel trucks. That's how you get fuel back. Motor storm. What? God damn it! It's using the exact same sounds and music as Overspeed. The exact same ones! This one is even more boring. It's the only game I've seen with slowdown. It's not an actual race. You're simply seeing how long it takes to get to the finish line and then drive into it. You can't lose this game. Also, is it just me or are those arrow signs getting smaller as I get closer to them? All right, last game, highway racing. Goddamn son of a bitch. The same music again, the same sounds. It's the same game. Only it's a top-down view. I kind of like hitting cars in this one because it looks like your car just slaps them. Out of the way, asshat! Got places to be! Of all the racing games, this one is my favorite because you're going 400 miles per hour. Just dangerously zooming along, suckas! You best be watching... Wuh, wuh? Superman? So get this, I was actually determined to beat this game. It has three stages, and the third one changes up the track, so there is some progression here. As soon as you beat the third stage, though, it goes right back to the title screen. And then this happened. So I'm guessing they never expected anybody would beat their game. In fact, I'm guessing they never expected anybody to buy this piece of crap. It clearly had no kind of quality assurance put into it, either its hardware or its software. It's a thing, yes, but nobody cares about it. That's why my final rating for this is a broken marriage out of 10. It has no soul, no love, no purpose. But it exists for one reason only. The kids. But even the dumbest of kids can see how this fails to measure up. Games are either too boring, too hard, or easily exploited for them to be fun. Plus, the moment these kids see a real game system at their friend's house, they'll immediately know that they got shafted on what gaming should be. There are numerous Wii ripoff consoles, but seeing as how this one straight up fakes its motion controls, it's one of the worst. There isn't a single game on here that can hold anybody's attention for more than a few minutes, which is probably why it comes with so many. I did think of a use for the console though. With all the controllers and extra accessories that it comes with, you can always pop those right on there, and then you can make these into bludgeoning weapons just in case an intruder comes into your house. Where you will be promptly shot. For the News Pro Jared updates, be sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter, or subscribe to me on YouTube, or equip my channel on Normal Boots. In the meantime, feel free to watch my other videos. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.